Okay. M5's back. It's had some rust repair. But what's happening now? Well... Oh, Jesus. It's... It's Sandmageddon. It's everywhere. See it moving around in there? So they used the sand, obviously, to sandblast the rust off. There was some rough, some rust on the roof. It was roof, a rough rust. Rough rust on the roof panel. Now it's rough on me. And, uh, yeah, I always had it done low in the car, so, you know, it wasn't in, like, the interior. But we just popped these lights down, and <laughs> there's a lot of sand in there's this headliner. There's more sand in this headliner than in all of Chicago. Probably, and, that, and that's the beach town. It is. What happened to your clown nose? Uh, when I bought it, it never came with it. I might have one. Cool. $100. Nope. Plus shipping. Nope. Also, is that broken? Probably. <laughs> the hell? Why are there pieces falling off? I wasn't broke when I bought the car. Well. And there's sand coming out of it. Of course there is. Well, maybe we'll fix this so, off camera. So, when I get out, I'll film the outside of where the rest is fixed. But now there is sand everywhere. It's even up here. Kind of gritty. You'll be dealing with that for the next 10 years. You think this car's gonna run for 10 years? Uh, well, if you keep dumping $5,000 a year into it, yeah. I wish it was only five. Falling, falling, falling so the places that saw some work, the mirror still needs it, yes. But this bottom of the A-pillar here, my lens is off. If you're wondering why I didn't do this, it's because the mirrors are made of aluminum. And so uh, just replace it. I know it's expensive, but just replace it. Yeah, it's not gonna spread either because there's shit in between them. So fresh A-pillar down here. This. That corner of the roof was pretty bad before, so now that's fixed. Over. Same thing on the driver's side. The driver's side was a lot worse. Um, we kind of figured out that this was caused by a small front end accident and the repair wasn't done right, so that's why it was wood rust. Mm. And the main spot was there. Yeah, that corner. If you want, if you want the pictures in the vlog, send me the before shots. I, I do have those before shots. And, and I'll put them too. in. So, oh yeah, you did. So yeah. I'll just drag and drop them. And then a fresh windshield yeah. and a fresh windshield seal with, I don't know how you say it. So it's, it's on the a, other, it's side. The other side. Fayo, F-A, F-A-Y. Fuyao. Fuyao. Yeah. It's Italian. Whatever it is. Yeah, great. Good improvement. Little ways to go, but so are all of them. Hey, good morning. We're gonna wrap up tonight here. I think it was Wednesday. Um, kind of another day of just doing stuff around here at the house. So Nick came over tonight. We got to look at the M5. I haven't seen his car in a little while, probably since summer. Got a lot of work done. Uh, the place, the body shop I used to use around here, uh, Nap Collision or Bob Nap. He moved in Kent. It's a different part of Kent, but he's doing the same kind of work. And the sandblasting is annoying, as you saw tonight. There's sand in the headliner and the sunroof and the windows and the seat tracks. And I've only ever had him do body work, like external to the car and low on the car. Rocker panels, rear quarter panels, stuff like that. Nick had stuff done on the roof. And unfortunately, you get sand up there and it just goes through the whole cabin. So he'll be cleaning that out for five years. But we spent some time downstairs, some good conversation, a good drink. It's 1.30, I'm tired. I'm gonna wrap this up, we'll get to bed. Talk to you guys tomorrow. By the way, Magic Eraser works really well to clean the Apple power cable. This thing looks brand new. Talk to you guys on Thursday. Good night.